Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Uh, welcome back to Marathon. Boop, boop. There we go. Um, so I'm still on really low health. Uh, Christ. Christ? The Christ Soul Orbiters. Where our cargo and resource and system transports for huge ships shaped like a hollow potato designed to be able to move huge amounts of material between Earth and Mars with low cost and theoretically low maintenance. The system was simple. The Christ was built into... Christ? I don't know. Orbit around Sol on the planet of the ecliptic. With a powerful solar sail, it could change its orbit easily to pass by the Earth or Mars. On a flyby, materials could be loaded or offloaded. The energy used to accelerate or decelerate the materials would be supplied by the solar sail. Loading was accomplished by a giant teller, tether and reel system, which would swing the material into orbit behind the crist and then reel it in slowly. Offloading was accomplished with a powerful ion beam, which would pound the offloading material with a steady stream of ion particles. So the Christ was innovative and useful, but it was not low maintenance. Of the five Christs that were built, four lasted around 100 years, and the one that, and the other one only 73 before they needed to go back to Earth and be refitted. Each refitting took 100 years, nope, took 15 years, and completely occupied the Earth's spaceship fitting facility for that time. The result was that no more than five Christs could be in service at any time. No Christ was ever built after 2310. The failures devastated Mars. As the first five were built, the colony grew quickly, confident in the growth would continue. But when the source of the Mars' resources failed, the colony found it had overgrown its supportable size, and extreme poverty struck most of the population. Interesting. Every time a Christ broke down, the result was famine on Mars. The conversion of Deimos into the Marathon... Oh my god, this used to be Deimos? Like, the moon of, of Mars? That's really cool. Um, was Mars colony's head of its power? By the time it was completely... 64 years later, the decline of Mars was well advanced. By the time Martian population had seen its center living drop by 80%. On top of oppressive poverty, Martians saw one of their moons being converted into a colony ship in an expensive and risky colony venture, predominantly funded by a ruling foreign power. The argument to make the Marathon into a Christ became more and more popular, but the UECS, nope, SC, never seriously considered this as an option. Further Mars sank into the depths of poverty, the more that the Marathon became a symbol for the oppression of the Martian people. After the marathon left Mars, the UECS's God attentions focused primarily on technological development and the upkeep of Christs. Mars was left to decay, population continued to increase, as attempts at mandating abortion or sterilization always started revolt. Jesus. <laughs> Stealth attacks. Got the drop on him. Let's check those corners, huh? Okay. Um, so I ran some errands. I, uh... Okay, so I'm gonna go just finish scoping this out to make sure there's nothing I missed. Or am I? Yeah, that's... Alright. Guns up. So, um, that's interesting. The idea that... I, I love the idea of hollowing out a planet. I, I adore that, in fact. Okay, so that's what I've done. Okay, cool. So I'm all done here. Yeah, I love the idea of hollowing out a whole planetoid. Um, for those who don't know, Mars does in fact have two moons, Phobos and Deimos. Um, Phobos and Deimos mean uh, fear and panic. They're named after the mythological son of Ares slash Mars. Mars being the god of war. Oh, good. I didn't know this was still full. I kind of thought that it would, like, run out. But yeah, Phobos is uh, fear, and Deimos is panic. I'm back here again, damn it. Guess it this way, and then up this way. Or 
or is it? Um, and for those who don't know, Phobos and Deimos are actually really fucked up in terms of planets. Neither of them are large enough to support a uh, spherical shape. They're actually so small. The font choice here reminds me of uh, Fallout here for some reason. Like it's like a Nuka-Cola. Where did this lead me? Oh, okay. But yeah, they can't support uh, a spherical shape. So that's what we just read. So where are we going? Okay, I hope I don't need to activate that. I uh, had a bug earlier where I couldn't activate a certain switch. Train has gone rampant. Here's where I am. Next one is there. Next one is there. So I've done the one that's far away from me, which is supposed to be the last switch. But I have yet to do the first switch, or the second one for that matter. Security officer, uh, security officer's speed is like really good. Maybe a little slower than Doom Guy. But like, fuck, who else could keep up with Doom Guy? But yeah, um Phobos and Deimos are actually both shaped like weird little potatoes. They're also really small. I, I want to say they're like 18 and 9 miles long. So I'm here. I need to get to that little corner. That's why I keep getting turned around. Okay. I'm already getting lost again. Good. See, the faster I get lost, the quicker I can get unlost. Theoretically. Wait, is this? That should be it, right? Did I screw it up by doing them out of order? And this is a inauspicious start to this episode. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to check my walkthrough. Alright, and I'm back. Uh, I found a place to go. I think it was... Yeah, I, f I just located this place that I haven't actually been before. Okay, here is a place I have been before. Oh, man. The corridors are so narrow. Like, if, if I have to give a legitimate complaint, that would be one. I, I literally feel as though my character's shoulders are touching the opposite sides of the wall. And going through here is a little disorienting. Okay, that feels like the switch that I should be hitting here. Just wanted to hit that to see if it did something. Oh boy, come on. So, uh, also, the idea of a massive, like, planetoid-sized, like, space installation, that is all over the place in Destiny. Like, those are some extreme destinies right there. Alright. So, we got here. Is this the place?
Yes, this is ammunition that I have not gotten before. And we have enemies. Okay, cool. So I think I'm back on a path. Maybe not necessarily the right one. Okay, so that guy shoots rockets. That guy... That's a problem. Anyone else want some? Does anyone else need some? Oh boy. Here we go. Using this, uh, using this thing's grenade launcher as, like, almost a primary fire and then mopping up with the bullets is actually pretty useful. I will say. Couch fishing. What the hell kind of a map title is that? Doom had some pithy map titles. What the hell does couch fishing actually mean? Another save point. What about that? I do not know what that does. It can be... No, well. can be toggled though Hup. that just looks like a pit down there so now this is very reminiscent of a level one doom too so these are the four should i say the p or not because normally that would just be the four right There are, there are some words with silent P's at the start. I've never seen one where an S is the one that follows it. Oh, it actually has drop. That's cool. Those guys appear to be able to move up and down without actual regard for gravity. Those guys contiguously appear to be problems. Huh. So this is, by the way, your normal walking speed. I have the game set to just make me run constantly all the time because, God, I don't have all day. Close behind me? I think it did. God. Oh, man. No, it didn't close behind me. Or did it? No, was I just walking into a wall there? Am I stupid? I mean, yeah, probably. Again, I do have to say, though, what a good idea for a, a shooter, you know? Because there are lots of people who just, like, blow through Dark Souls and, like, don't give a shit about the lore. Even though the lore is arguably, like, the reason, the coolest thing. Uh, no change in the status of the control circuitry. You must make sure all the switches were activated. Oh, brother. Let's go, uh, let's go back then. Oh boy. Work it, security officer. Whoa, was that some infighting we saw? Lord knows I love infighting. Nice. So you can almost, like, quick shot yourself back. And this allows me to peek into here. Oh, yeah, and there's goodies here, too. Good. So if you move the mouse at all, it cancels out the healing. 
little weird, but I guess that makes sense. You'd have to stay still. Um, how am I... Leela, how am I meant to get back? Oh, boy. I'll be right back, everyone. Alright, hey, and I'm back. So, um... I went back to the last save that I had before this level. Which meant that I had to play through the last half of that level. Uh, but now I am back here. Yippee. Um, and I believe I've done this in a way where I boop them all on in order. Because Leela does specifically mention that there is an order and I will have to be quick about it. I'm not exactly sure what that entails. Just in case. Yeah, this pistol is not, like, super useful. Yeah, also, I'm not even sure if I can go back. Like, say, hypothetically. <laughs> if you happen to do the uh, if you happen to do the objectives out of order and you wanted to try to go back you would have to load that save you also don't appear to be able to drop through the f oh never mind you do and that puts me where oh it puts me here okay so something I wanted to mention, um, something very specific to Doom is that all Doom maps are technically 2D. Um, prior to Doom, there was a game called Wolfenstein 3D, which is technically the real first first person shooter. Um, however, it had a lot of things that uh, they were issues, I will say. Um, most notably is that every level in Wolfenstein was completely flat. Oh boy, man. I really don't have the health to be trading hits, but I'm on this fucking corridor. So my options aren't great. Jesus. Um, so Doom levels. Oh, they're in a little court. They're in a little closet over there. Sons of bitches. Sorry, right. So Doom, uh, Wolfenstein level right there. Every single Wolfenstein level is completely flat. There is no variability in them. Uh, verticality, I should say, in them. Every single Wolfenstein level is at the same, like, Z coordinate, I believe. They all share that. They are all exactly the same. No matter what. Which is just something about the engine. You know, they couldn't literally program it. They, it was impossible. Okay. Clear something out. Nice. That's really cool. Honestly gratifying. Not quite like a glory kill, but like, still good. Shit, man. I loved, I love really good melee kills in first person shooters. And that one's up there. Uh, sorry, I'm getting distracted. So, yeah, when you're playing Doom, 
you'll notice that uh, enemies can actually be uh, below or above you and levels can actually go up and or down. So that's cool, right? Well, they don't actually do that. See, if you look at a Doom map, there is no instance where a piece of the map will go under another piece. There's not a little path that like crisscrosses on itself. Um, because the map actually has to be... Okay, so this does absolutely close the line. But yeah, the map is actually flat in, in Doom. They, they do a couple of tricks on you to make you think that it isn't flat, but it is. It's, it's just one of the one of the tricks to make you to make the map go up and down without actually making it so like it'll loop in on itself. Um So there's like almost no floors. Drandall has been denied access to criminal critical computer systems. Ensure the mobility and reliability of defense drones. I have received a distress signal from some crews sealed themselves in one of the nearby access areas. They've lost control over the doors and elevators on that level, and the four have access to the area. Durandal has reacted to our move against them by giving the four access to a formerly secure area. We will have to deal with Durandal sooner or later, but we can't be distracted with a four attack. I only hope his rampant behavior won't continually sabotage our defense efforts. I am sending you to go save these crew. Clear the area of aliens. If enough of them survive, perhaps we can get an intelligence report from them. So I learned this, if you hit that button, you hit escape, you don't teleport. Because I actually wanted to backtrack and get some more health. But yeah, so one of the things that um, I'm noticing about Marathon is that it has um, very similar tech to Doom. However, you can go over yourself. There's a piece of the map. I can't drag and I can't drag and you know make you look at it. But there's a little piece of the map where the stairs go over themselves, which uh, was kind of nice. Um, it was a little annoying because it confused me because I'm not used to it. But now that I know what the hell's happening, I understand. There we go. So if you hit escape, you can back out of a terminal without uh, continuing the mission. See, so all we got is punchies. We got pistol. Um, in my search of the walkthroughs, I've learned that I have already missed some secrets and as well missed some terminals. However, as I mentioned, uh, this game is free. So, you may as well just go get it and find the secrets yourself. I can only assume that in the secret terminals, Durandal actually... Sp Holy shit. That is one big motherfucker. Oh, those are more allies. Those, those are NPCs. Um, oh, should I have... Oh, well. Wait. Will this put me up? No. Well, let's go intervene in that fight, huh? Wow. Wow. Wow, so yeah, that's all, that's all blood and stuff. I hope Corona plays this. I discussed that in Halo 2, about how I want Corona to play all the Halos, because she really liked Doom. Um, and of course I want her to play Corona, for those who don't know, is a virtual YouTuber streamer girl. Nice. Um, she played Doom Eternal, Doom 4, and uh, Doom 64.
Oh, man, these guys. Uh, you have not sufficiently secured the area. There are civilians who are still in danger. So, um, I would love Corona to play this game. I feel like she'd enjoy it a lot. So, um, I was reading about these. These people are called Bobs. Which is short for born on base, which is to say they are, you know, humans who were born on said base. They were born... <coughs> Excuse me. I had some tortilla chips and I guess I didn't drink enough water. Uh, yeah, born on base, so they've never, like, set foot on a planet. They've always just been on the spaceship. Ah, oh, I see you brought your friend. I guess I don't need to click every time. Space is so cool, man. Man, what the hell are those things? They bleed blue. Interesting. So, for build... I'm, I'm, I'm decided... I think I'm gonna say it like four, but with a little p at the at the start. So four. Here we go. Weird. Four bleed yellow. And I guess the fit bleed blue. And then we got Bobs, who are humans, and they bleed red. Just wanted to reload that. Oh, does it just automatically go? I'm stupid. It's like, man, this elevator isn't going. Well, I didn't push the button. Or rather, I did. When I shouldn't have. So that guy, uh... That guy appears to be, um... A bioweapon, I'll say. Um... A big fucking guy. That, uh... Those things are pretty, uh... It's pretty deadly, I'll say. I'll assume, at least. I've never fought one honest. <coughs> Jesus, excuse me. Okay, so this... Get me stuck. This allows me over here, where I will also be stuck. And then if I just wait for this, I'll be here. Nice. Okay, and this is back to the main airlock zone. Oh, the drones got busted too. Oh, and there's more here as well. Uh -huh. Wow. They put up a pretty dramatic fight, I'll say. Um, so I was reading, Bungie actually wanted... Uh, Bungie actually wanted... Oh, whoops, uh, that's a game save. I thought it was a health. The developers, Bungie, of this game, Marathon, wanted you to get different endings dependent on how many bobs you saved, how many people that you actually ended up saving. However, it was way too hard to cut. Oh, I think that was from the fire. Whoops.
uh, it was also kind of annoying. Well, gameplay ideas like that work for something like Abe's Odyssey, which is, fuck, which is a puzzle game. They do not really fly for a action-oriented first-person shooter. And while this is a more story-heavy first-person shooter, it is still a shooter, ultimately. Okay, so if I get him to start the fight, then maybe I can wait for him to go clear some stuff. There we go. Oh, man. After seeing so much alien blood, I have... I'm now, like, resensitive. Fuck. Really wish I could find that health stage. But yeah, after seeing like, so much alien blood, I'm now like resensitized to seeing red blood. Because normally in Doom, when you punch someone with like a berserk power up or you shoot them with a rocket or like hit them with something particularly strong, you blow them up, guts go everywhere, big gooey red explosion. Except for the Kako Demon, which is a big gooey blue explosion. Get him! Um, but yeah, there's, and like, the Kako Demon's blood in Doom really stands out because like, all this time you've been fighting, Jesus Christ, those things. They feel so much larger than any, like, Doom enemy. I can't believe that stock sound effect punch is used for every punch. That's honestly a little silly. I had 22 crystal pips. Oh man. And even they have corpses. Oh man. Poor fucking guys. But yeah, after so much yellow guts, now seeing red guts, I'm like. <laughs> Clearly, I'm, I'm meant to be using more of that. Where does that do for me? Marathon. Is this new? Okay. Oop. Hello, everyone. Okay. Jesus. Three grenades. Four grenades. I should have seen that coming. Wow, he fucking cleaned the clock. Sorry, dude. Yeah, that was a man that I just killed. <clears throat> Very sorry. Oh, they like, they're like, talk. Careful, guys. Woof. Oh, man, that's a, that's a setback. Just quite a setback. Much better. Okay, now I won't just like trash that guy whenever I go to uh, 
greet him. But yeah, it's interesting to note that, like, I really do have way more power with what I can do with these grenades. But yeah, I saw that some people just use uh, the grenade launcher like a regular weapon. And then just consider the the bullet part of it to be the alt fire. Alright, so you can see that we can walk under this. But we can also walk over the same area. That is something that is impossible in uh, Doom. And they've even signified it with red areas of the map. Ow, fuck. Sorry. With red areas of the map. Meaning uh, an elevator. Alright. This fit, I believe, is coming up. Dude, they take a lot. Okay, so that guy caught at least one little burst of the RPG round, which allowed him to successfully take the hit. Wow, that guy's... Okay, so you don't run it. You don't notice how bad the animations are on the aliens because it's like, oh yeah, they should look shitty and jittery and weird and inhuman. But when the humans are looking inhuman, you need a. That's not. That's not as good. That I will. I will say that part is not good. I wanted this. Like, I know that I was told that ammo is scarce, and I'm not entirely sure how scarce yet, but I, I want to be sure. So I've just been, I've been gaming too hard, so uh, I fucking hurt my, I hurt my elbow. Jeez, man. They really should put a warning light on. Like, there's that XKCD uh, joke about, like, NPCs in the Time Crisis games. Where, like, yeah, so, uh, I'm, uh, I'm... I'm gonna go to where there's a, uh, active shootout happening. And then I'm, uh, I'm just gonna jump out of the... I'm just gonna jump out of nowhere, uh, so the cops shoot me and lose points. It's like, dude, we are in an active alien invasion situation here. Aliens are invading right now. It's literally happening right now, dog. Good. Oh man, that is that is really satisfying. So it looks like they don't have much in the way of range. But boy, do they not need it. Which means that I could theoretically just plink at them with this. Theoretically. As long as I have enough space to back up, it shouldn't be a problem. I, uh-oh. Oh, what happened? Oh man, that sucks. I'm gonna play back up to where that was. Excuse me, everyone. All right, hey, and we're back. Yep. Hello, sir. Now to see if this is even possible. I'm not feeling great about my odds here. Can I, like, shoot him in the leg to cripple him? I guess that's probably not in this game. Like, it was in Fallout, but that's because Fallout was built to include it. Oh, wow. <laughs> cool. Um, so yeah, I played back up to uh, where I was, and then I backtracked, and I picked up some stuff, and I healed, and I saved so I don't have to kill these enemies for a fourth time. 
this the fourth time? I think so. Um, I'm pleased with the difficulty. This is what I always end up doing in a lot of uh, shooters of this type. Like, just like, oh, you can't catch up to me? I will plink away at you then with my weak weapon to ensure that I can save my good weapon so I can never, ever use it. So they don't need... They need a few clips of ammunition, but that isn't too bad. So let's see what this needs. Okay, so, like, they need... Okay, they would probably need about half of the, uh... A little more than two-thirds, actually. Okay, we got more grenades there. So, yeah, I'm just looking for all the, uh, all the alien ones. Because, yeah, the only thing that Leela has told me is kill all aliens. 20... I guess, like, 26, 15... There we go. That was an embarrassing couple of shots. Now, either their pathfinding is terrible and they don't know where they're going, or their pathfinding is really good and they know exactly where they're going. Like, is this some little March of the Elephants here? Hmm. Where are they going? Oh, they're going to this elevator. Or they're trying to, at least. That's actually pretty good pathfinding, though. Jesus, Alfred, aim your gun. Would you kindly... I want, I want to not get blindsided by something. Okay, and then I'll circle around and take him from behind. I mean, I will attack him from behind with my fist. We're not at having sex with the aliens yet. We haven't come to that point of the invasion. I don't know when that point is, but... You know, maybe it's one of those things that, like, the president has, like, a, uh, corollary or a, uh, contingency for. I don't know if you guys know, but the president actually had, uh, speeches wrote up for in case the astronauts did not come back from space. Wow, that's a lot of ammo. Hey, guys. Y'all good? Um... I'll come back later, I guess? That appears to be pretty much everything, though. Oh, wow. And, like, we just got Bob's running around free up here. This is so cool. It's like, um... It's like one of those really weird experimental Doom mods where, like, they put in shit like... They're everywhere! Uh, they put in stuff like NPCs and quests and stuff. There's some really impressive mods for uh, Doom and Doom 2. I played more than a few that make the game into like survival horror. And like Doom already has some survival horror ideas in it, I guess. Um, but it was never really intended to be that. It was always meant to be more run and gun. Which is another reason why Doom 3 is fucking stupid. Okay. Um, I think Leela wanted me back at the, the terminal, right? It is doubtful that any of the survivors will give us useful information. They've been caught off guard by the strength of the counterattack. This is good news. I've detected our ships landing on the marathon. I fear the aliens are reinforcing their efforts. Okay, cool. 
Uh, let's go find a little save then. Or no, not a save. A little here. Um, and then that'll probably be the episode, and I'll start the next one when we load in. Oh my god, I got lost again. God damn it. Alright. Isn't this where 